teach you next year. Uh, welcome to Portally Green and this is going to be your transition lesson, uh, something to take up a little bit of time uh, today for you. Uh, and what you're going to be doing is learning how to play that drum beat that I've just done. I know, I can hear you saying, I haven't got a drum kit at home, so how can I do that? So, don't worry about that. What I do need you to do is to get three pieces of equipment. And I'll show you that in just a second. Now, I said you need a couple of bits of equipment. You need, first of all, two things to use like drumsticks. So I've got a pencil and a pen here. Just make sure you be very careful with that. Then you need something to be the symbol. So um, I'm using, going to use now this mug. Okay? It makes quite a tinging sound. Quite high, that's like the symbol sound. And then I'm going to need something a bit harder and bigger. Now this is a box of tissues, something like that is quite good. So if I hit that with my pen, it's a bit low. So I can kind of go, So could you go and get something like a cup or a glass, nothing too fragile, I don't want you having uh, mum and dad shouting at you for breaking something special. So a cup of some sort and a, a box of some sort. You could just go and get that and two pencils to use as your drumsticks. Okay, how are you going to get those? And then go on to the next bit. So with any luck, uh, you can see now on the screen this uh, grid right here. Okay, and we've got three lines. So line number one is for your right hand. Okay, so if you pick up your pencil and you're going to be using this to tap your mug. Okay, the second line is for your left hand. Then you use your pen or second pencil or whatever it is you're doing. And for this, you're going to use your... Um, uh, box. So if you can place them with your mug on the left and your box on the right, you then do the box with your left hand and your right hand over it. So your hands are crossed, a bit like that. That's what I'm going to be doing because that's technically used when I'm playing the drum. Now the third line you'll see a picture of a foot. So that is my foot, my left foot and I'm just going to stamp on the floor so, first of all, with your right foot, can you just stamp on the floor in time with me? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, join in. One, two, one, two, one, two. That is excellent, okay? Now, we're going to do your foot and your left hand playing the box, which is the snare drum. So it goes foot, left hand, foot, left hand, foot, left hand, foot, snare, foot, snare, foot, snare. One, two, one, two, join in. Now, if you found that a little bit tricky, pause the video and have a bit more of a practice with it, and then come back so I can join the next bit. Okay, so the next thing is we need to add our right hand. So what we do here is, the right hand goes on every beat for the symbol. So we're going to try and do right hand, right foot, two things at the same time, followed by two hands at the same time. Right hand, right foot, followed by two hands. So you can see how the crosses are, okay? Right hand, right foot, followed by two hands. Okay, here we are again. Right hand, right foot, two hands. Repeat. Okay, the 
same thing there. Pause the video now if you found that a bit of a struggle and just keep going, keep practicing uh, until you can get that nice and smooth and then restart the video. Okay, very good. So now, in time with me, let's do a little bit of a practice and we're going to speed it up slightly this time as well. So in time with me, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Now I'm going to move over to the drum kit so you can see and hear how that matches up with what you've just been doing. So have a little pause for a second and then move on to the next one. Okay, so you've now got the basic beat where we're hitting the cymbal. I know this is a, my drumsticks and things. So this is the cymbal, the metal one. This is the snare, which is, so that sound is what you're doing on your mug. This one doing on your box and this one which is my right foot down here you can't see that that is my foot uh, uh, tapping on a pedal to make that drop so here is my right hand right foot two hands right hand right foot two hands Okay, now if all of that has taken you 20 minutes of the 20 minute lesson you're doing, then that's absolutely fine, stop there if you want to carry on. The next section is going to show you the more difficult beat, which is this. It's not that difficult, but if you've got a bit of time, let's have a go now. Okay. So here's that extension task I mentioned a second ago. Um, so you will see from the uh, grid on here, it looks exactly the same, but you've got two X's in the top line in each box instead of one. So what this means that instead of doing what we did before, which was foot and hand, two hands, foot and hand, two hands, it means we add an extra right hand, an extra symbol, an extra mug. So it's right foot, right hand, and two hands, and right foot, right hand, and two hands. So this is a bit more tricky, so take a few minutes just to practice it uh, and then pause and either go back and check with what I'm doing or play along with this one. Here we go. Excellent, if you've got that, well done. Uh, so the last thing I'm just going to show you is putting that together all on the drum kit so you can hear me sit playing that beat on the drum kit properly. Well done. And welcome back. So here's the last section of the lesson where if you remember we have our foot on the kick drum, left hand on the snare drum and right hand on the cymbal. There we go. And here it is all together. So it's one and and right foot right hand and two and play along
I went a bit silly at the end, but there we go, that's what we can work up to when you come back in September. Well done, give yourself a little clap, and I'll see you in September. Thank you very much.